What's up guys it's your boy ab uh back with another vlog thanks for uh tuning in uh today i'm going to get right into uh what we're looking at with the e92m3 uh if you've been been following me on instagram i post a lot of uh little reels and things like that on uh, the progress of the builds of the car uh things like uh getting the wheels done recently on the 5 series and uh, currently I've got a check engine light on the U92 M3. Now we're going to roll right into this because I've already uh, ran uh, Beamer Link. I use VP module and Beamer Link. Uh, that's in the description below. Uh, so I use that to run uh, a check on here. So it did come back that it is going to be uh, the water pump or excuse me the uh, uh, the thermostat, uh, which is actually, we've got to remove uh, this plenum. So we're going to get into, if you can see uh, just below there, if we follow, we follow this hose right here and right where that connects, that is uh, the connection of the top part of the thermostat. And if you see that one pulley, this book, big pulley right here, uh, that is the pulley that spins the water pump. So, thermostat right here up top, water pump right there where that pulley is. So that's what we've got to get to. So again, uh, we will be removing um, the plenum, let's back up, uh, as far as getting that done. Now, as far as all intents and purposes, the thermostat is the culprit uh, however having done uh, cooling systems on more than one BMW in fact uh, three BMWs I did it on the E53 X5 which has the three liter uh, motor in it uh, I did it on my E46 M3 and then I also did it on the uh, E46 335i uh, in both of those cases or in all of those cases I ran into issues where I was trying to trace one um, one issue uh, and then it turned out turn this light off uh, and then it turned out to be multiple things down the line and things broke uh, so I just went ahead and replaced uh, the entire cooling system uh, on all of them eventually uh, and then on the last one I just learned that I'm just gonna do them all now uh, after doing some reviews and watching a lot of videos on the uh, s65 uh, platform that is in uh, the E9X vehicles, uh, they have stated that, uh, or a lot of uh, professional mechanics have uh, stated that uh, if one goes out, especially if it's the thermostat, uh, depending on the life cycle of the water pump, it does not need to be changed or probably doesn't need to be changed. However, uh, I've got about 130 something thousand miles on here. Uh, I'm going to be replacing the thermostat. So I'm going to go ahead and replace uh, the water pump because it's right below where I'm going to be. So that just makes sense. Now, the next thing is I'm going to do the tune-up. I uh, change the plugs on this car. Now the plugs simply sit right under these covers uh, right here. Now, uh, and then of course I've got to remove the air box. Either way, I've got to remove the air box and this elbow. Uh, when I do both uh, the spark plug change as well as the water pump and thermostat. Now, the other key thing that I want to look at while I'm changing out the plugs, which I'm going to do that um, before I go to changing what I think is uh, the valve cover gasket. Let me put some light on here. 
All right, right below down there, you can see the wet spot. Now, I also see trails of oil from where it's spilling from under uh, this, this cap. So with that said, uh, I've done a little bit more research on that too. Uh, I have found that they, you know, have found that people have replaced the cap and that has remedied the issue. Uh, however, this this particular cap uh, is the one. This is a 2012. So this cap uh, is the newer cap than the old ones that had uh, the problem with the leakage. So moving forward, with that said, before I began to tear apart the valve cover gasket, which I really believe it is. I'm probably going to go ahead and just order it. Uh, but, but before I start to tear that away, I'm going to check the spark plugs to see if they have oil around them. So basically when I go to pull uh, those spark plugs out, if they have oil on them, then I'm going to stop right there. It makes no sense to, uh, to replace uh, the plug. I need to go ahead and just pull the valve covers get ready to replace that so we've got plenty of DIYs coming uh, for uh, this project again a lot I'm trying to knock out or have to knock out before <laughs> still got this light on again within the next two weeks before the drive uh, to Dallas I'm not going to make that drive in this car uh, if in fact I still have uh, these things to do one more thing uh, that needs to be repaired if you can see it from here uh, because I've had to postpone uh, getting the windshield replaced uh, because that code uh, happened uh, the Friday before. So it already was postponed. I postponed it about another three or four days uh, because I don't want to make that drive. I want to say that's about a good 30, 40 minute drive. Uh, and I don't want to make that kind of drive in traffic, and especially to stop and go at any point in time uh, with the car that's having uh, a cooling issue. So, <laughs> no, no. You're right. That's a fifth floor problem. Okay. Mountain Mars. Okay. So, and then after all of that is said and done, then we're going to get the uh, the downpipes, the Evolve uh, Catless downpipes or test pipes installed didn't make sense to do all of that uh, before we get the maintenance stuff taken care of because i'm not doing that myself so that's going to require uh labor costs so got to knock out the uh the more important uh, or what has the priority and then we'll get that done if i don't get it done before going to bmw invasion hey so what i took care of the priorities first so and i'm okay with that all right guys that is it uh for today i'm getting ready to get out of here uh, stay tuned uh, for vl more vlogs to come uh, and also definitely stay tuned for uh, the DIY projects, especially the ones I've listed for this car and then any other projects that I have coming uh, along the way. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Big salute to everyone. You guys take care and as always, keep driving.